J.K. Rowling, and it's uh, she's the new Jimmy Savile. Yeah, according <laughs> to this uh, terrible human being, uh, who is a, a, also a GP, which is in incredible. I've actually been following the story for a while online. And Are you suggesting it is possible to be a terrible a, human being a, and, and a GP? Well, there's only one example. <laughs> now there's two, <laughs> according to there's this illusion of... Examples, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, this person has been bullying women online, mostly women online, for having such controversial views as uh, there are two uh, biological sexes. And, um, and he has gone before the board, for the medical practice board, and he's been suspended for a month, which doesn't sound like a lot, but so actually... The doctor is denying that there are two sexes. Yeah, well, this is it. I mean, he's talking about dangerous, and he's saying, oh, I don't know if she should be around to JK, about J.K. Rowley, I don't know if she should be around kids. But I don't know if I really want my GP who, to not acknowledge the biological reality. Yeah. I think that's a little bit more dangerous, possibly. There is this thing of trust the science when the science suits your narrative. Well, you exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this person trusts uh, science yeah. or narrative. Well, certainly not J.K. Rowling's um, one. And it's, it's, uh, it's just the sort of pot calling the kettle black here. Like he, She wrote a very, uh, I thought, reasonable letter a year ago, and he just launched in on her, comparing her to... or insinuating she was like Jimmy Savile and shouldn't be around kids and uh, not being safe around children, which is just absolutely ridiculous. It's bizarre that the, the author of the most popular series of children's books of our generation should be deemed not, not good to be around kids. Yeah, it's just, and she's given millions to charity and just because she's fighting... You know, people say that this is a movement, oh, they're, these people are fight anti-trans. They're not. They're fighting for women's rights. It's, it's that simple. It's the insanity of the internet. Anyone who is an ideological opponent is the devil or Jimmy Savile. Yeah, so I think part of this story should also be it's not about whether you agree or disagree with J.K. Rowling. It's about, and all the people that he disagreed with, mm. don't go half giving out someone's address, this mm. doxing thing. Whether yeah. you agree with someone or not, it's perfectly fine to argue and to disagree without trying to ruin someone's life. Well, this was it. it wasn't yeah. just giving out someone's... I mean, this was a campaign yeah. over a long period of time with other people to basically harm... This woman psychologically, and it's just, it's just so horrible. horrible. And just to come from a GP, it's just forgive the pun, but she's got balls, J.K. Rowling. She stand, well, takes a lot of, <laughs> <laughs> she stands up to a lot of stuff, doesn't she? Yeah, and I she mean, and, and he sort of said that he deleted these yeah. tweets because yeah. uh, oh, suddenly, oh, maybe there's a mis mis misinterpretation or whatever. Uh, but really, it's just he knew that he would just apps. She yeah. would sue He's him. Lost the rank. A cancellation was the you know the big tool to mm. use ideological opponents, and now it's sort of morphed into doxing as yeah. well. Yeah. Which, which is really is crossing the line, isn't it? Yeah. It's well, I think cancellation is crossing the line. Yeah. yeah, definitely. An internet row is fine. Remember when you just used to fall out with people on the internet, and even that should be scary and newfangled. I remember the comedians' discussion forums. There were some heated uh, rows on yeah. that <laughs> back in the early days of the internet, but I'm still talking to some of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Only just, though.